What's up guys and welcome to another masterclass and today we're looking at how you can develop the perfect peak. So we all know if we want bigger, better arms, we've got to do curls and if we want to get better angles, we've got to get a better peak. One exercise we can look at today is going to be the barbell curl because this is one that with a few little changes, a few little tweaks and a bit of understanding, you can take a moderately decent exercise and make it into a gym peak building winner. So as I've been saying, how do we start these things? We start right, we'll finish right. Looking at common mistakes that we always make on this. From the pickup, it often starts, we have pronated shoulders, and then we'll end up coming back with this partial repped movement. Now let's take a look at this. So you can see the elbows are kicking back, body's leaning forward. This leads to a body lean, hip kick, then from here, a pronation of the shoulders because of our body position. So this is activating traps because of the partial rep. So because we're not coming all the way back, the bicep's not extending, traps are activating, and we end up with a movement that looks like this, which is probably only activating maybe 35%. What else we'll see is the lean back, a lean back. This is a common one with also an uncontrolled negative. So we've got counter body lean here, and this takes away the load from the bicep. We're arching at the lower back, and look at the bar position. From this point here, you can see that the load is now carried by the body and no longer the bicep. That's why the body's trying to lean back. It's trying to take that load away from isolating the muscle, which is the body's job. Its mechanism is not to keep things isolated. So what happens is we end up with a movement that looks something like this or a combination of both. A release negative, uncontrolled positive, and a full lean back, which takes all the load and all the effort off the muscle we're trying to work. So how do we fix it? We set it upright. And again, scapular engagement can solve a lot of these things. So if we take a look here, we tuck the chin. This helps align the back and relaxes the traps. Then from this point, we're going to set the scapula. You just saw me squeeze them back there. So we're setting the scapula. So that allows for a full arm extension and creates full bicep activation. Look at the start point where the bar is. Those elbows are going to stay fixed. And to help this, squeeze the glutes a little bit. That'll help stop your hips from being able to kick backwards. The hips can't kick backwards. That's going to force you to keep your elbows in place and control that negative, which is where most of the move breaks down. So in real time, you can miss a lot of these movements. Set the scapula, tuck the chin. Tuck the chin, set the scapula. You can see how everything engages. Ages. Then as we curl up, we've got no lean back. This forces all the load onto the bicep, squeeze at the top. See how the back muscles stay engaged throughout, helping to stabilize the movement. A little squeeze of those glutes stops the hips kicking back on the negative, keeping those elbows in a fixed position, meaning we get maximum load on the biceps positive and negative part of the repetitions, which is gonna build a better peak. So there you go, you've now got those nuggets of information to be able to take and put into the gym and help build a better arm. Make sure that you concentrate from the feet up as always. If you start right, you will finish right. These videos are on a regular basis now, so hit me up in the comments section with other exercises you want to know about, ones you'd like to see, some favorite ones that you maybe want to learn that you haven't tried yet. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any uploads, make sure that you opt in for all notifications, then you will never miss a single one of these masterclasses. Until